YouTube, and here we go with another mixed bag review. Christopher's never tried the new Coors Light Bag again. He's the vented virgin. Yes, you are. Hmm. Just open the Hmm. I wonder what this is. Oh, look at that guy. All right, let's get to the review. And here we have my RPM Rangers collection. So, red, blue, black, gray, not in the show, technically, and he fell over. First, I'm going to start with this guy. He is a big, hulking brick. Yeah. Oh, I forgot something. Sorry. Massive brick. Articulate. Detail-wise, there's not much of the Black Ranger here besides the head. Close up on that head. Nice wolf design. Very accurate, but there's a little bit of missing gold paint. Articulation-wise, as you've seen, his head is can go 360. His arms can go up that far. But they're hindered by his gimmick, which I'll get his gimmicks, which I'll get to in a second. His other one can go up, and you can see he has a giant fusion cannon on his arm. I don't know why they were going for Megatron esque toys in this line, but I get it doesn't really suit a Power Ranger. But here's the missile. Yeah, I still have that. I don't know when. Or why, sorry. I don't know why when Power Rangers was thinking of their Black Rangers, right? Mm -hmm. Watch an axe in color form. Purple. Because, yeah, that makes sense. Leg articulation. He's got no hip. No, no leg movement. The only leg movement he has is this. You can't see. That. And his giant spikes get in the way. So he is a brick. And you can pop it off if you want to have horrifying leg injuries. Gimmick wise, he has these two guns, I guess. Which, uh, can you see? Yeah, there. Guns can pop off. Melee weapons. He, his hands are molded permanently in fists, so he can't hold anything. He's got this little thing, which is like, hey, I'm behind your shield. You can't see me. And he came with this engine cell. Now he does these, these things up here, it's wings attach. I couldn't find the wings for this review, but if you can imagine big black and purple things in front of them, and you, I don't, you can see that little peg, or that little spot back there, you insert, yeah, insert like so, it pushes down, and then, mine's very weak, but you can see this snapped open. This is on a hinge. So you, you, now you can still do that. But you can get slightly more. So you can get straight in front or straight in back. Oh, and he does have a little toy blade. So, what, animated Megatron, I guess? That's it for this block. Next one is the Blue Ranger. Detail-wise, he's the uh, basic suit design. Very accurate with big muscles, head painted very nicely. Articulation-wise, head, now you can see head does, yeah, he does 360, but very tight. Arms, 360, out like so. Elbow, lower arm joint, legs straight out. Uh, no, 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 can't go back to the side. 90 degree knee and lower leg swivel. It's pretty cool. He's a basic. Accessory wise, he came with this gray version of his big gun from the show. 
no paint on it at all, but a lot of sculpted in detail. Nice detail. And just for the sake of it, I have this, the Red Ranger's weapon and the Green Ranger's weapon. Those figures are not here anymore, and they just combine like so. I'm missing the Black Ranger's weapon because I never had that figure. But there's that. He came. I don't know if you can see it. It there. A tiny little version of his Zord. All blue. Some sculpted detail in there. Uh, even a face is sculpted in him. And he came with one of these. Which is a little villain from the show. This was a Tog. I believe they were called Tog. But this, he came with that. And one of the other figures came with this guy. One of the villains. Now, I'm going to save Big Red for last. But Gray Ranger. He was based off one of the Dino Zords. So they, they took that and made it into a suit and gave him a bike. I don't think, I don't know if I still have the bike. I probably lost it. But his head can do this articulation. Can do 360. Armed. Can go 360. Can go out that far. That far. Wrist. He does have a wrist joint. The other one is broken. That's why I don't play with him anymore. Number 11. You could see he, was, he could have been a ranger. But no. He was not Japanese. They weren't, I guess they weren't going to do with American Rangers in RPM. Leg can go straight forward. Uh, back that far. Out to the side. 90 degree knee. There's your lot. And this big guy. Big Red. Now he is a armored up version of the Red Rangers suit minus the paint there that should be silver and of course again broken wrist you could see what the RPM guy is like their big problem with the toys was broken wrist so I don't know what they were they were doing too much of but something nice big number one there creepiest helmet ever the eagle just creep is creepy. It's just weirdly smiling and amazingly sculpted. Like tiny little detail, like the headlights. You can barely see that. Articulation. Articulation, sorry. Head 360. Not on a ball joint, but just 360. Arms can go 360. Arms can go out about as far that far as the shoulder pad can go. It can go in that far. And a wrist joint. No bicep or anything like that. Again, legs straight out, 90 degree knee, straight to the side. Knee can't even go back, really. And articulated feet. Now this toy had the benefit of some armor. So we're going to look at this is what's left of the armor I have. I'm going to unplug the sword. You can see. Flaming red, not flaming orange, eagle sword. Uh, all molded in orange, translucent plastic. Hey, look, it has it has one point of articulation, uh, not one point, but one hinge here. This does pop off. And it's got, it just did that, yep. And legs. Are articulated uh, 360 but they can be popped off just on a ball joint I'm going Doug this toy is so old he doesn't want to cooperate with me yeah that was too tight and that, yep, yep and now I'm going to attach the armor so all you have to do is angle it up and slide it on. Uh, it pegs into the two holes on his back. And the wings can go like so. They're just on pegs. 
and it broke off. Dang it. That's why it looks like armored up. You can have, imagine that's like a fire blast effect. You could insert a fire blast effect. And his sword. Come on. Yeah. Uh, this is more painful than it is supposed to be. Three, some cool sword poses. It can peg on his arm, which I don't get why they had to do that. But hey, the next report. Why not? Yeah, I think he's my favorite. If he's still out of wrist, I'd probably still play with him. And there are your RPM guys. Thank you for watching, and see you next mix bag.